to figure out which grace you want to use where, it can be a little tricky. So here's a little tip to help you figure out which one. First, the more bends an instrument has, the farther posterior it can go. So if you have these three instruments on your tray, the 1, 2, 11, 12, and 13, 14, see how the 13, 14 has way more bendy? This one's going to be your most distal instrument, and this one will be your mesial. Another one is if you look at the numbers and you kind of imagine with 11, 12, with the 11 you can make an M, so that'll be your mesial. With 13, 14, you can't make an M or any letter out of those numbers, so that'll be your distal. This instrument, 1, 2, is always anterior because it's perfectly straight. If you try to go distal or mesial with it in the posterior teeth, it's really hard to adapt. So the 11, 12 is a little less bendy than your 13, 14, so we know it's a mesial. And when you're gonna place it on the two, this first bend closest to the cutting edge should be pointing towards the back of the mouth. If I use this other end, this bend is pointing to the anterior teeth, then it's the incorrect end. This is the 13, 14 instrument. This is the distal gracie instrument. If you see, if I line up my instrument to the tooth, this first bend is towards the anterior teeth, and that's not what we want. We want this first bend the closest bend to the cutting edge towards the back of the mouth. So this is the proper working end. The one two is a little bit trickier because it's so straight, it doesn't have any bends. So to tell what end is the correct working end is you need to look at the face of the instrument and it's gonna kind of angle certain ways. The part that's pointing down, this is the cutting edge. Another way you can look at it is when you look at the instrument, the part that's sharpened is the cutting edge. and You can kind of see it looks flat and sharpened. This side is not sharpened and it's nice and round. It reflects a lot of light. This side does not. I'm going to hold this instrument up to the tooth, whatever tooth I want to work on, and I'm going to look at it and I can see this edge is sharp. This edge is really rounded, so the sharp edge is the, sharp, the cutting edge. And this is going to be the mesial of 9 or 10 or the distal of 8 or 7.